Hey, what's up my beautiful people? So yesterday I received a package in the mail from an Etsy seller that goes by the name Mutant Effects. Now what I bought from him is a real life Pokeball. Now Etsy, you know, you could buy a bunch of Pokeballs on Etsy. There's a bunch of um, custom made Pokeballs. Some of them, like most of them are 3D printed. Some of them are like made of clay. Now the reason that I bought this Pokeball specifically is because it looks realistic, it looks metallic, and it lights up. So it looks like a real life Pokeball. So anyway, I received it in the mail yesterday. They look really Really good they look really cool and I just kind of want to talk about it and kind of I guess um, show you guys how they look like and kind of tell you like the pros and cons of this specific pokeball from this specific seller because I also bought some other pokeballs from other sellers and you know I just kind of want to compare and contrast I guess but anyway so here's the pokeball you know just a regular pokeball and then I have a great ball and I only bought two of them because you know I don't have that much money to spend so here they are I'm gonna make kind of like a close-up video and talk about the pros and cons you know just in case you you guys want to buy one or you're kind of like deciding if you want to buy one or not so anyway let's look at them close up and talk about them a little bit more all right so this is how the pokeball looks like and as you can see it looks really high quality it looks amazing it looks pretty sexy on um, the material you know it's plastic pretty simple and when I ordered this pokeball on the Etsy website I did also order a stand to go with it so the seller does provide a stand if you want one but you do gotta pay extra but this is how the stand looks like and this is made kind of like I guess like clay it's not really plastic it's kind of I don't know kind of like clay material so you put the ball on there you know pretty sexy looking ball huh this is the great ball my personal favorite one and here's the stand for that So anyway, let's talk about these balls for a little bit. How much did I pay for them? Well, I paid about 50 bucks a piece. Kind of expensive, but it's kind of like, is it worth it? I don't know, it's up to you. Some people will say it's too expensive, but someone like me, I'm willing to pay the 50 bucks each. So I paid a little bit, yeah, like a little over a hundred for both of them together. I know it's kind of crazy, man, but you know, you see this type of quality, you're just like, yeah, I gotta get at least one for myself. So that was the price on them. Now let's talk about the negative sides. Like what's, what do I not like about them? Well, first of all, it didn't come with a battery. Um, you have to provide your own battery, but that's not the seller's fault. These came international and you can't really ship batteries internationally. So, you know, it's not the seller's fault, but you know, it would be nice if it came with a battery. But, you know, I understand why you couldn't provide a battery because you can't ship batteries internationally. So that's one, I guess, downside is like providing your own battery for the light up, but not a big deal. Um, this is how it looks like when you power it on. You know, really good looking ball, huh? So that's one downside is you gotta buy your own battery. All right, another con. So this is more like a personal opinion of mine, but I feel like the balls were a little bit too small. Like I would prefer it if they were a little bit bigger. Um, you know, like something like that would fill the whole hand. But I kind of understand like why they are this size. In the anime, when um, like Ash has his Pokeball, he usually has it like a golf ball size. And when he presses the button, it goes into like a baseball size. Now these right here are not based off the anime, they are based off the Pokemon games. And in the Pokemon games, in the actual Pokemon games, like Pokemon Red and Blue, Gold and Silver, whatever, the actual Pokemon games, the Pokeballs are not small, they're not like a golf ball size that goes into like a baseball size. In the games, they are only one size. And that one size is actually between the golf ball Pokeball and the baseball Pokeball, which is this size. So if you look at like um, the artwork of the games and stuff, like the trainers in the games, their artwork, you see that the Pokeball is actually like this size, like a, a medium size. So that's the reason behind their size. But personally, I would prefer it if they were a little bit bigger, but that's my opinion. All right, so another downside with these specific Pokeballs is that the mechanism inside of them, you know, like where it lights up, it kind of weighs it down so it like if you don't have a stand the pokeball is just gonna like flip on its front you know like that because all the weight is down here but again that's not really a big deal some people that bought this pokeball online and people that bought other similar pokeballs with like a light up mechanism um, they said that the easy easiest way to fix it is just to have the battery kind of like even out the way or put in your own weights um, but it's not really a big deal again for me because as long as you have a stand like this, like it holds the Pokeball up. So it's not really a big deal, but it is kind of a downside if you're, you're kind of trying to show it off and stand it up on your own, because it's gonna roll down. Again, just kind of like a small con, 
not a really a big one just kind of pointing out like some things you guys should know before buying i guess all right so now let's talk about the pros what do i like about them or these specific cookie balls well, first of all, the quality, man, look at it. It's really, really good quality. That paint on there, the button, everything, the overall design is just good quality, very sexy looking Pokeballs. Very good cosplay item. Just the overall quality and the stand and everything, you know, I like it. What's another pro? Well, even though I bought them internationally, the seller, Mutant Effects, he shipped these off very, very quickly. They came like in less than two weeks. You know, he shipped them internationally. And they were at my front door in less than two weeks. So very fast shipping from this seller specifically. Another big plus, another big pro from this seller, Mutant Effects, is like one thing, like the main reason that I bought from him specifically is because I saw many of these type of realistic Pokeballs on Etsy. And I also saw some other realistic pokeballs like on ebay and stuff but the reason i bought from mutant effects is because his great ball is that he goes that extra mile and makes like these lines on the great ball like stick out kind of like 3d you see how it sticks out other sellers that i saw like on on etsy and stuff like yeah they all looked really sexy like of course you know like they look really cool the pokeballs look cool they look perfect they look amazing but when i saw the great ball the great ball, the red line was just painted on, you know, it was just, it was just smooth like this, smooth all around. Now Mutant Effects, he had the bumps on the balls. Just like those bumps, and like having these bumps right here, like sticking out. I don't know, man, like I really, really like that. And it's just like the little things that makes you appreciate like the design. And if you look at like the anime or like the games and you see like the artwork of the great ball, you'll see that the great ball artwork does have the bumps like coming out. So that's the reason I chose Mutant Effects is because he made these little, I don't know what these are, like these little lines sticking out. So that's a big plus from Mutant Effects, you know, kudos on you man for making like going that extra mile and making these bumps. And if you look at his Master Ball, like from other reviewers on his page, um, the Master Ball it has like these two pink spots on top. Those two pink spots are also like sticking out. You know, a big plus man. That's why I chose him over the other sellers just because of the design and the bumps. And the last pro that I like, you know, besides the design and the like the light, is that when you open up these balls, they have these little magnets inside. So when you put it on, like it just like magnetizes, you know. Um, you know, just little things like that. Yeah, just kind of help pull the Pokeball together and stuff. There's the battery for this one. And yeah, it just uh, kind of shows like how much effort the seller puts into making these. And you know, when you do buy them, you do get what you pay for. You know, like I said, I paid 50 bucks, but I think it's worth it because these are custom made. You cannot buy them at the store or anything. And you know, paying the person who sold them to me, Mutant Effects, to you know, put in this extra work and put it together, man. Like, I have no problem paying 50 bucks for one of them, you know? So this is how they look like. Just give me a second, I'll put the battery in in this one. All right, so there's the Pokeball and the Great Ball. Uh, two different color lights. The Pokeball is the white light and the Great Ball is the red light. All right, now I'm gonna take these bad boys outside and you guys can kind of see how they look like outside. All right, so that's all I have to say about these Pokeballs. Um, you know, personally, I like them, but I wanna know your guys' thoughts. Do you think it's worth um, the price? Would you get one? Do you want one? Or is it just kind of like, nah, not really interested? Like, yeah, it's cool, but not really interested in buying one. Um, let me know your thoughts. You know, drop a comment, drop a like, and subscribe because I did buy other types of Pokeballs from other sellers that I kind of wanna also, I guess, look at and kind of compare and, you know, look forward to those videos. And there's one final look thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one, right peace out